guys, today I want to feature a, a manufacturer's dining room chair, one of eight. Sometimes you can get 10, sometimes you can get 12, sometimes six, sometimes four. And um, I love this chair. I think it was really well made. I love the finish on it. Uh, I don't love so much the, the treatment that they did on the interior of the seat. So my customer came in complaining that the seat had softened up, it was too soft and was caving in. Of course, I knew exactly what was wrong. I mean, it's only eight years old. I mean, everything was great except what they did on the bottom, and you've seen this in some of my other videos. Um, we're gonna repair this from the bottom to try to save the faux leather that's on the top that hasn't yet started to peel because of the stress that it's been put under because of this. But let me explain. This was just a rubber piece of elastic that was stretched over the opening from the top. That's it. That's the only support for a 200 pound uh, maybe a man that's going to sit on this. And in no time at all it started to shred. You can see these marks here. They were the shredding of, the, of, the, of this and causing stress on the foam. So you see what happens? It's like the princess and the pea, right? You've got a pea at the bottom of a, of a 20 layer bedding. You can still fail it from the top. It's the same thing. I mean everything happens and eventually this is going to fail and then she's in for a big expense. So we're going to save, we're going to save these dining room chairs. And by the way, on, on, online on broadwaypolsterysupply.com you can find these kits. So I would suggest that you go on. We're going to have a kit for a sofa, how to repair a sofa. We have a video, an accompanying video with that. A chair that you can apply what you learn on the sofa video to a chair also. And then we're going to have a separate video for this one, which is what we're doing now for dining room chairs. You know, just to give you an idea. You buy a dining room chair set, it goes with the table. Sometimes it goes with the accessories beyond that. So you're into it for about four or five thousand, even moderate in a moderate price range. And then you have a failure after eight years in your dining room chairs. It kind of ruins your, your whole set, right? So I'm going to show you how to fix it before, before you get to that point. And you can do that yourself. Um, I'm just starting to change my opinion about some of these hand staples, staplers. Instead of getting a big setup that way, we're trying to save you money by going to the hand stapler, which takes the same staple I use in my pneumatic gun. Of course, you have a pneumatic gun, you're one step ahead of everybody else. But I'm kind of focused. My focus here is the average homeowner who's frustrated maybe at this, at this, at this uh, loss that they're about to, to have. So what we're going to do is show the average homeowner how to fix this. So what I did was I cut away the rubber, the rubber in here and I've just exposed this now. So now I need to fill this gap in, which, which I'm going to do with the one inch piece of foam, which we're going to do now. So let's get going. So we cut out one inch piece, which you're going to get in the kit, and we're going to put that inside the opening. You don't have to be perfect. It's not a perfect science, you guys. We're going to take our webbing, which comes in a roll. You're going to have extra, perhaps, but it's always good to have extra. We're going to try to have good coverage on this. So what I'm going to do is go right in the middle at first. And I'm just going to staple without folding it for now. Then I'm going to use my webbing stretcher. I'm going to put my stretcher in here. This is the key, you guys. You need to get this tight. This is the proper way. I mean, we normally would be doing it from the top, but this is the next best thing on the bottom. Especially if you're repairing and trying to save your furniture. So we're going to cut that. Notice how I don't pre-cut the webbings, because you save webbing that way, you guys. So notice the angle on here. Stretch this. Staple six staples across. Cut it about an inch and a half back. Go over this way. Get a little cotton stuck in mine. And see how sometimes it comes with the piece, they piece it. You want to cut that off. Okay guys, don't use don't use the piece where they piece it. That doesn't happen a lot of times on these rolls. How do you ever see it? I just saw it there though. Stretch this. This will save you a lot of a lot of money if you have to replace it, but also if you called in a professional, you guys. If you have a set of 10 of these, they're going to be charging you uh, at least $75 a piece. So it's $750 for a set of 10. Maybe more. They could even charge up to $1,000. I can tell you that the kit is a lot less than that. 
So I'm going to just fold this over now and stick these down. Folding is, is uh, just strong, stronger when it's folded up like that, not under. Don't fold under. Everybody wants to do under because it looks pretty, but you don't want to do that. Okay, and I'm going to try to lace these, interlace these. So I'm going to start with it under here, then over, and then under. Pull this this way. You know, if you want, if you're getting confident with your staple gun, you can just staple the fold down like so. Always on your stretch side, though, obviously you can't fold it. You have to staple it first, and then cut, cut the webbing. Okay. Now we're going to opposite weave this one. So we're going to go over, under, over. This is going to give you the optimum seat. I guarantee you that instead of the fabric wearing out before your seat, right, which should never happen, um, the, fab the fabric will wear out first before this wears out. That's what I'm trying to say. So. You should never, after eight years, be faced with a situation like this um, with it caving in. So we're rescuing these chairs, right? Okay guys, the only thing now you have to do is put your Celestra on. Some people call it cambric. They don't realize cambric was the older, we still can get cambric. It's a little bit more like a cloth. Um, you could still get that, but I don't use it a lot. I like the Celestra because it has good stretch. It does what you want it to do. We're folding it under and we're stapling it in. You're not going to go all the way out to the edge. You don't want to do that. Trim it up a little bit if you like. Just about about half of an inch in from the edge. This way. And we're done. So there you go, you guys. You do this to 10 dining room chairs, like I said, you save the cost of at least $750 for all 10 chairs, and you're going to extend the life at least another 10 years of these dining room chairs, I mean the fabric. So there you go, guys. I hope this helps you, and I hope that you save money. See you next time.